Guru Nation, how's it going? Really quick, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. It helps me shatter the algorithms to continue this. I need you guys to please subscribe, like, comment, share. If you don't know what to comment, just put a robot emoji and we're good. We're golden. You put a robot emoji, we're golden because it shows the algorithms. We have comments, but we're also like kind of making fun of the algorithms. Get it? Because it's a robot. So today somebody texted me 949-415-6256. A very good question. Can you make a video on people who work at sites as regulatory assistants? What careers can they look into? So sites vary. You go from the very small, which I love, small as the new big, to the very big UCLA, USC, uh, whatever, the big academic medical centers. Regulatory assistant is different at small versus very big because at small, there's chance for more upward mobility. You can, if you're a regulatory assistant at a small site, become a coordinator. You can become a site director in a matter of like a year or two. Whereas at an academic medical center, the same regulatory assistant, maybe you'll be promoted to re just regular regulatory, not assistant anymore. So, you know, the role regulatory assistant is an entry level role. No matter what kind of site you're at, it's entry level. What careers this could look into is literally anything. So once you are a regulatory assistant, I think what you can immediately look into besides the coordinator that I mentioned, or besides the non-assistant, just the regular, regular regulatory, depending on the position or the kind of site you're at right now. I think immediately, like within six months of you being a regulatory assistant, you can be a site startup specialist for a big CRO. So let's say you're, reg you're a regulatory assistant. Let's say you do work for a place where you don't think there's a lot of upward mobility. Take the six months and leave. You did your time. Now go, go to one of the big CROs. They're going to hire you. Uh, they would love to have you as a study startup specialist. Um, a start, uh, there's regulatory specialists at CROs as well. Trial master file specialists. Something along those lines. You can find a lot of the startup stuff. Regulatory and startup is what you're doing. Because what is startup for a study? At the end of the day, it's making sure regulatory documents are completed on time, filed, completed correctly. That's what you're doing as a regulatory assistant too. So that's a more natural transition from regulatory assistant is into study startup at a CRO or regulatory at a CRO or in-house CRA even at a CRO. And then from there, you can get into CRA, which seems to be um, the destination of choice for many of you. Or you can go the coordinator route. Like I said, you can go research assistant, study coordinator, site director. Then you can do site owner. You can go CRA. There's a lot of different career options you can get into. I gave you a little bit of a roadmap. So hopefully it's helpful. Remember, begin with the end in mind. Where do you want to go? Because that'll help you. Your long run goal, where do you want to be, can help you make those short term decisions which so many are struggling with. Hopefully it helps. Again, send me your questions, 949-415-6256. Like, subscribe, comment, share, robot, and catch you later.